welcome to yoga with Tom and greetings from Canary Islands. My name is Tuoms and I'm your yoga coach from Latvia. Today in this video we're gonna find out how to enjoy any class from any teacher. And there's a simple three-step process. Step number one, know your whys and know your expectations. Step number two is enjoy the process and reward yourself along the way. And step number three is don't take things too personally or just don't take them personally at all. And as simple as that. And let's go dive deeper into each one of them. So the first one, know your whys. If you don't know why are you taking this exact class with this, this exact teacher and you don't know expectations you set for the class. So what do you want to achieve from attending this class? What pain or what benefit you try to gain from this experience? If you don't know these things and by chance they don't get met, well, you'll be disappointed afterwards, right? Because your expectations didn't get met, you didn't achieve whatever you wanted to achieve. And whether you know that you wanted to do it or didn't know, you will feel bad because your expectations didn't get met. So, if you already start in the class with clear expectations and knowing your why, why you're attending class and you're actually focusing during the class on these things, whether I'm meeting these things or not, you're less likely to get disappointed because maybe during the class you will discover that nah, this teacher cannot give me the thing that uh, I'm searching for. So you will start searching for some other value from the class and maybe you will find it. Why? Because one who seeks finds. So if you search for reasons how to enjoy the class, you will find it. If you don't search for them, well, you are an autopilot. Maybe you get lucky, maybe you don't. It's like a lottery ticket. First you have to buy the ticket and then you might win or you may not win. Odds are that you will not get the win because there are so many lottery tickets out there and only a few of them have a winning, uh, winning bet. So try to focus on searching for actually things you're looking for with the clear whys and clear expectations. Second step, enjoy the process. Clearly, simple thing. If you're already doing a class focusing how to find the value, how to enjoy this process, you will certainly find it, as I just said. And uh, one more thing about this thing is that if you smile during the practice, it sends your body a clear signal. Oh, this is something nice, I should remember this thing. And sooner or later, you want to do more of it. Because body remembers that this was something good, something pleasurable, and something nice. And it will also see a memory of something fun, something joyful to your experience. And this is the second uh, advice of smiling during the practice and paying attention to your facial expressions. For example, when I was starting out my recordings and my teaching online, sooner, soon enough I discovered that I was already aware of the thing, I want to enjoy this class, I want to smile, and I was already teaching smile people, it's a really good thing, but when I was looking at my recordings in um, hindsight, I noticed I'm not really smiling there, like, I might smile for a split second when I'm saying smile people, it's, or I'm smiling only during the Navasana, one of my favorite yoga poses. But once it's over, I'm starting already thinking other things in my mind, which I actually shouldn't be doing during the yoga practice, well, I was doing them and when you, if you start thinking about bad things and get distracted from the actual practice, uh, your face will reflect it. And of course, it's because you're inside. Don't feel comfortable because you're just thinking about bad stuff. And that's the other thing. If you can catch your face not being smiley, not being nice, you know that there's something inside happening. Probably you're thinking about something bad. And if you're allowing yourself these thoughts in your mind, you're not going to enjoy the practice because you're already preoccupied with other stuff. As good as the teacher might be, as the awesome the class could be, you're already preoccupied with, let's say, you had a test or you're going into university, you had a test and there's another one coming up and you're not just done with the teaching. 
or let's say your friend just said something really horrible to you before the class and you're trying to justify you're trying to find a reason why the friend said the thing uh, how should I make revenge and whatever not if you're already preoccupied with all these kind of thoughts you're definitely focusing more on actual thoughts and these bad feelings than the actual yoga practice and then in this case once you notice once you have this habit of observing your face observing your emotional state what you feel in your heart you're more likely to enjoy the practice because you're actually focusing and the third and final step is don't take things too personally what do I mean by it? for example you're probably let's say in a case you're not in your best shape of your life yet or you just had a really bad day or week or whatever and you really cannot get in your best shape and a teacher comes to you and says something mean like oh you've been practicing so long and your back you should be stretching your back or for example let's say you're looking around during the class and your neck is up and in downward facing dog you should be looking through your feet and your teacher reminds you hey Tuoms, look to your feet and of course the yoga teacher could be nice about it but maybe the yoga teacher also had a bad day and he said it in a bit more arrogant or really mm, bad way so you don't feel good about it so you start blaming yourself why why do you blame yourself acknowledge that you are in a bad situation or acknowledge that the yoga teacher might not be in a, his best mood and just don't take these things too personally Acknowledge that, okay, yoga teacher also is a person, he's projecting his demons outside uh, and trying to help me to get into my best shape. But I know that uh, I haven't practiced for a while or I had this stress, stressy thing that's preoccupying myself. I'm not actually focusing on my practice. And he's bringing my awareness to these things, bringing these feelings in my heart so I notice them and can't get rid of them faster. And just don't take these things personally. And that's it. That's how to enjoy any teacher, any yoga practice, what you may encounter. Know your whys, know your expectations, try to keep awareness of your facial muscles, try to bring your smile as much as you can, to bring that positive feedback loop and don't take things personally. Seriously, don't take them personally. And that's it. If you find any value in this video, feel free to like and share it and of course, Hopefully you will have an awesome day and see you on the next one.